And that's the scene tonight in the city of Duarte. They hosted their first Independence Day celebration and fireworks show tonight. This historic event came just seven months after residents there voted to ban the sale and use of fireworks. Okay, can I just Jake Reiner is live in Duarte right now with more on the ban and the decision to hold tonight's fireworks display. After all, Jake, good evening. Good evening, Jeff. I'll tell you, it was a great show. Lasted for about 20 minutes. People are cleaning up behind me, but I want to show you the cleanup that's going on right now in about short center field right there of the crews cleaning up the fireworks. It was a pretty fantastic show. Duarte's celebration Wednesday night is twofold the 4th of July holiday and the fanfare of a new beginning. Last November, the residents spoke, voting to ban the sale or use of all fireworks, with the exception of the professionals, of course. And since the measure passed by a little more than 3%, the reactions have been positive, but also mixed. For my family and my kids, I liked it. I love it. Like, I like that they did this whole thing. Uh, it used to be fun because, you know, we used to always wait till that day to, for your parents to come home to go get the fireworks. You know, since it's banned, it kind of sucks, you know? The city says people here were worried a sparkler in the wrong hands could spark another wildfire like the fish fire of 2016, which torched more than 5,000 acres. We take it very seriously. We have a $1,000 fine here in our community for people who are caught using legal or illegal fireworks in our community. Stephanie Ramirez and her Duarte High School cheerleaders used to use legal fireworks to raise money for the program. So at first, they were a little bummed with the ban. But the inaugural Duarte Independence Day celebration has helped solve that setback. Instead of doing the fireworks stands, we're doing the celebration and having the opportunity for the kids to fundraise out here. Here's something you probably thought about. Why are they doing it on July 3rd instead of tomorrow being July 4th? Well, the city says that they wanted to do that because they wanted to pay their respects to the surrounding cities that have long-standing Independence Day celebrations. Reporting live in Duarte, I'm Jake Reiner, K uh, KCAL 9 News.